Hello and welcome to the first build of the year. Sit back and relax while you watch me make this awesome underwater lamp. So the first step in creating this lamp is to make myself a mould using these pieces of acrylic. To glue my acrylic together, I'll be using some medium CA glue and some spray activator. So now that I have my mould all finished, it's time to get my wood ready. Now I'll be using some Australian Malay Burl, and I just need to cut it to size so it fits in the mould, and then I'll stabilise it in the vacuum chamber. I think it's nearly time to replace my bandsaw blade. That squealing's getting louder. Make sure that when you're stabilising your timber that you cover it fully with the stabilising resin. Now that I have my burl curing in the oven, it's time to print my diver. Here I'm using a thin blade to separate the print from the mounting plate. Now I'm going to wash off the excess resin in the ultrasonic cleaner. Now that all the excess resin has been washed off, I'll leave them to cure under the UV lamp. While my diver is outside drying, I can continue work on my burl. It's now out of the oven and it's nice and hard, so the next thing I'm going to do is put on some glow-in-the-dark pigment and some fake moss. To make my glow paste, I'm just mixing some UV resin with some white pigment and then some glow powder.
For those of you who are a member of the Workmates, you would have already seen this sneak peek. But for those of you who haven't, here it is. Check out how good this glows. Now if you guys want to see sneak peeks like this, you can become one of my channel members. I'll leave a link in the description of how you can do it. Now that my burl's all finished and glued into position, it's time to get the resin ready. But before we do that, I need to show you something. Do you remember when I introduced this massive pressure pot to the channel and I asked you guys to name it for me? Well, here it is. Meet Freddy. I think it's a great name. Under pressure. So now that you've all met Freddy, it's time to get our resin ready. Now I'm going to do my pour in two layers. Now there's a couple of reasons for that. The first one is I don't want to generate too much heat, but more importantly, I want to pour a base layer so that way I can put my diver on top so it looks like he's in the middle of the water. I'm also going to try something I've never done before and that's a multicolor pour. I'm going to put some blue alcohol ink in these cups, but I'm going to put more in one than the other and hopefully I can get it to transition and look a bit darker down the bottom than at the top. I think that looks pretty good. Now it's time to stick it in Freddy. So now that the base layer is set, it's time to put the diver on. Now originally I was going to glue the diver down with some UV resin, but I've since changed my mind. I've mixed up a small batch of resin here and I'm going to pour a thin layer. Then I'm going to put the diver in that. I've also got a couple of these little jellyfish that I want to stick in there. And also Nicole's found some nice little glass beads for me. And I thought it might look cool to have them above the diver to look like bubbles. Now I'll just leave this to cure, and once it does, we can put on our top layer. Well, it's now out of the pot, and it looks pretty good. I do have one slight problem, though. I developed a fracture in the resin, and it all started from this piece of burl. Now, it's a bit hard to see on camera, but I do have a fracture line in the resin, and it runs all the way up the top here. Now because I'm making this into a nightlight, I've already shone a torch from the bottom here to see how it looks, and it just looks awful. So luckily enough this casting is quite large, and I'll be able to get away with cutting that section off. So my next step now will be cutting this to size, giving it a sand and polish, and then we can check it out. I won't be throwing this piece away. I'm sure I can make something with it.
I've just finished making these new dragon eggs. They're available now on my Etsy store. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check them out. And also I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's purchased one. It really helps support the channel. Well, who's ready to see this thing light up? I know I am. But before I do, I just want to thank everyone for watching. And if you like this video, please consider hitting the thumbs up button. It really helps my channel grow. Now let's check it out.